Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss about mealybugs. I think most of us have encountered them once or twice at least in our lives. Along the years, I kind of did too, but I've never had a major infestation because I took precautions. So today I'm gonna tell you how to act on mealybugs if you see them on your orchid. Now this is a brand new orchid that I just purchased and in the store I did notice it had mealybugs but I purchased it because one, I'm pretty sure I don't have a bad infestation and I can take care of it and second, we're gonna make a nice little educational video out of it. Okay, so if you don't know how mealybugs look like, well, they're these little fuzzy creatures which are white or grey. They look kinda cute but trust me, they're pure evil. You'll usually find them underneath leaves, but also in very hard to get and very hard to spot crevices in your orchid, such as joints between leaves and stems, flower spikes or sheaths. So when you are at the store, just check the orchid thoroughly before you purchase it. Look under the leaves and in all the little crevices where people usually don't look. This is where you will usually find them. If you see them on the orchid and you don't want to hassle with treating it, just put it back and choose another orchid or don't buy an orchid from that store in that particular day. Moreover, if you see an orchid with a massive infestation of mealybugs, which can actually look like cotton threads stuck to the leaves, just place the orchid in its place and pretend you never saw it. It's really not worth the trouble. Unless you actually really want to get that orchid and you know what you're doing. But let's say you purchased your orchid, you didn't notice anything wrong at the store, but at home you do notice the mealybugs. Now the first thing to do with any orchid, not necessarily an infested orchid, is to keep it separate from your other plant collection, whether it's an orchid collection or any other type of plants. And the next really important step is to actually remove all the mealybugs that you see at the time. So when you reach home, or your workplace, or even in the car, it is actually really important to remove the mealybugs you see at the time. If you let it for later, there is a chance that the mealybug will go out of sight, it will hide in a crevice and you won't be able to see it anymore. It doesn't mean it disappears. Now the way to remove mealybugs is actually very simple. Just get yourself a cotton q-tip, dip it in rubbing alcohol or water and manually remove the bugs. Now alcohol has the benefit to actually kill the mealybugs, but if you don't have alcohol, water is just as fine. Don't use dry q-tips because there is a high chance the mealybug will fall from the q-tip and if it falls in between the crevices or somewhere where you don't see it, pretty much it's useless. A moist cotton ball or a moist q-tip will actually make the mealybug stick to the q-tip and that's what you want. Now the next thing to do when you have your mealybug on the cotton q-tip is to kill it. I'm sorry, it needs to be done. Don't throw it away in the trash or in the garden because it will just crawl away and infest a different plant. And if you're not at your home, if you're at a friend, that's just not a nice thing to do. So go ahead and inspect your plant thoroughly, even if you're visiting somebody, it's really important that you do this now and remove every mealybug you see and also remove every cuttinish thread you see. It might just be a thread from somewhere, but it might also be a baby mealybug. So do remove everything white and fluffy. When you look for the mealybugs, try to look in between the leaves, in the sheaths. The most important place to look is actually the flower spike itself, because they do like to hide there. So check the flowers in between the petals, inside the lip area, also in the sheaths that the flower spikes might have. If you see one but you cannot remove it with the cotton q-tip or the cotton ball, find something thin and a bit sharp, like this tweezers. Actually, you don't necessarily need to remove it, you just need to kill it, even if it's there. Do your best to actually kill it. Now, after you do this and potentially clean off all your plant, don't put your plant next to your other plants. This orchid needs to be quarantined for at least a month to be sure that you're actually rid of the problem. So keep it in a totally different room. Mealybugs can actually crawl and they can move on surfaces and infest other plants. For this reason, this orchid is actually still in its bag. And I'm actually gonna clean the desk after I'm finished with filming this. So I cannot stress it enough. Keep it isolated for at least a month. Now every day you kind of need to look at your orchid once again. Check the leaves, all the crevices, all the sheaths and so on. Also check the top of the media because mealybugs can actually feed on roots as well and sometimes they can even make nests at the root area. 
If you see any more mealybugs, just remove them. Also, it is a very good idea to repot the orchid. As I was saying, mealybugs can actually make nests at the root area. So even if you treat the exterior of the plant, it doesn't mean it gets you rid of the problem. So unpot the orchid, just throw away the old media and clean up the roots as best as you can. Look out for the nests, which will appear like a cotton material stuck there. Wash the roots as best as you can and then spray them with hydrogen peroxide 3% as thoroughly as possible. Use brand new media and also a brand new pot, or if you'd like to use the pot the orchid came with, just wash it with detergent very well. Even if you repot the orchid, it doesn't mean it can go with your other orchids just yet. There is a chance you still missed some, so do keep it quarantined still. Now, a few mealybugs here and there doesn't necessarily mean you have a bad infestation. This is why I'm telling you it's best to manually remove as you see them. And luckily I only had two or three mealybugs on my orchids, I didn't have a big infestation. So I never had an explosion of mealybugs, just because I was careful to remove them. But you might actually get an explosion of mealybugs at some point if you're not careful and you don't check your orchid often. What to do then? Well, the best thing to do is to actually unpot the orchid and give it a spray of a soapy solution or an insecticide if you're okay with that. Now I do have a recipe on the soapy solution. I'll add it in an annotation or actually an info card right here so you can actually click on it and see my recipe. I'm actually treating spider mites with this, but it is efficient again mealybugs as well. So I would actually spray the orchid with this solution at least once a week for four weeks and then see if the mealybugs reappear. Manual removal is very, very important. If you remove the adults, they will not lay eggs and practically they will not reproduce. When you're dealing with a bad infestation, it is best to actually not pot the orchid for a while. Just keep it in a jar or a vase bare rooted, maybe water it once a day, but for about two or three weeks, just check the root system and see if any other mealybugs try to hide there. Also, spray the root system from time to time just to eliminate potential babies. If you are okay with toxic insecticides, those will pretty much do the job faster, but they do have the downside that they are kind of toxic and maybe we don't want toxins in our home. When using this type of insecticide, just read on the label because each brand is different, so follow the instructions on the label. As for me, right now I will not resort to that. I just want to see if I have one or two little mealybugs came in from a different plant, probably because this orchid does not look like it has a bad infestation. The mealybug I saw was on the underside of the leaf. They usually sit in crevices, they only lay eggs on the underside. So I got rid of all of that and I intend to keep this orchid separated for at least a month. Being that it's a zygopetalum and it really hates to have water on the leaves, I'm not gonna go and shower it or spray it with anything just yet. I just wanna see if I have more mealybugs, remove them manually, and at some point repot the orchid to see if I have a mealybug nest. And pretty much that's all there is to it with mealybugs. As I was saying in my video, top five things that keep your orchids healthier, the number one thing is attention. If you give your orchid attention a few minutes per day, you will spot these things. If you don't look at the plant for a week, in one week a mealybug can create hundreds of other tiny mealybugs. So that's why you need to keep an eye on your orchid very often and remove whatever mature mealybug you see or whatever cuttony and white fuzzes you see. And really mealybugs are not that hard to eradicate if you have a few minutes per day to gift your orchid. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it will be useful to you. Remember, attention to your orchids will save you from a lot of hassle. And other than that, just enjoy the hobby, even if you have some small little pests. We have all been through that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your orchid friends. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos and also feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid tutorial. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye.